This is so good. I love tandoori chicken. Mm -hmm. It's like tandoori chicken to the max. Mmm. Mmm. It's like tandoori chicken on steroids. Yep. And then it went to jail and worked <laughs> out every single day. Hey everybody and welcome back to Follow Me, I'm a Foodie India. Today we are coming to you from Miami, Florida. We are at Taste Buds of India and we have a spread. Yeah, there is an enormous amount of food that we're gonna eat today, but we're gonna start with some appetizers. So here we have a cauliflower that's been fried and it's in like a chili sauce. It looks so good. It's yes, not it cauliflower 65. It smells amazing. But it is like a spicy cauliflower. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. How does it taste like chicken? <laughs> That tastes it's so good. just like a buffalo wing. It does. I mean, that is ridiculous. Oh, I'm getting the spicy? Mm -hmm. Very hot. This is really good. Look at that. Man, the seasonings on it, it's so like hearty and meaty on the inside. Mm. And it tastes like there's... Um, I even see lime. Don't, don't lime mine. Mine is perfect how it is. It almost tastes like there's a crust, like there would be a chicken crust or something like that on it. There is, they fried it, it has a literal crust. That's why it's so good. Ooh, got a little spice to it. Mmm. Oh, with lime. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Take a look at the inside of it. Just amazing. Mmm. Amazing, this is I beautiful, love it. this is delicious. Wow. I will Gosh, come back to this that. Let's just finish it. <laughs> Normally we try and move on as fast as we can, but this is so good and so, so spicy. Good. There's just one left. Let's do it. Get in there. Whew. Whew, I am burning. My sweat, my sweat pores are opening up. Let me scoop up all the spicy sauce first. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. All right, this, wow. So <laughs> good. It's better than a chicken wing. It is. So much better. Wow. This is, I think if I had to switch, this would be why. <laughs> to all spicy. vegetarian. Mm. Mm. Man, that was killer. You better eat fast, catch up to We me. should have had that last. <laughs> I know. Because I'm worried that all Nothing the rest isn't gonna be as good. good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next, garlic prawns. This is our second appetizer. I want a little bit of onion with this. Ah! I lost some carrot. I also want a little lime. Carrot down. Ooh, I'm gonna put some basil on here. This Ooh. is fun, this little salad party going on. Yeah, this is nice. This is a, a nice Beautiful. little setup here. Beautiful restaurant. Mm -hmm. We're in Miami Beach. Everything around us is so gorgeous. so gorgeous. Such a fun place to eat Indian food. Mm. 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 A lot more calm than the last one. The sauce so is not though. as thick. It's really good. That is really good shrimp. Like, I'm talking about how beautiful it is to eat in this amazing, beautiful setting. But you could lock me in a basement and feed me this, and I just would not need to leave. This is so <laughs> yeah. good. Like, that's how I feel too. That's fine. <laughs> this is definitely much more mild. Mm -hmm. After this, like I almost just want the sauce that was on that cauliflower on everything we eat today. That's why I scooped it up. And but this garlic goodness on here, just perfectly cooked shrimp, mm -hmm. nice and plump. The mm. shrimp is nice and buttery. And then the sauce that they put on the outside of it, just tastes fresh. That was some amazing appetizers. Mm. Okay, so. Still working on the mains, but our entrees are about to come out and I could not be more excited. We have had a crazy good start here at Taste Buds of India. Let's come back in just a minute and eat our heart out with some mains. We are already back and this is the reason why we came today. Mm -hmm. I saw this and I just, I've never seen anything like it before. It's chicken tikka, but then it's covered in this mint sauce. It looks, it's like lime green. It's like the Grinch if you cooked them. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good yes, though, are you ready? Does. I'm ready. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God. Kind of limey. Mm. Super tender. I get right mm. off the bat, this complexity wow. that's got mint, 
and acidity, but then the flavor is so different than like typical tandoori chicken, which they cook this in the tandoori. This is killer. This is insane, the mint on here. Mm. It took me a second to place it because it doesn't, I mean, you wouldn't really think mint on chicken. This is the best they piece did. of chicken I've ever had. And they were right. This is the best piece of chicken I think I've ever had. I love this dipped in the mint sauce. Now I'm gonna try it with some onions. I'm gonna try it with some. Oh my God. Oh, might have gotten too much. Mm. Going tamarind, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my definitely gosh. Definitely makes it, definitely makes it kind of sweeter. Mm-hmm. Not intensely sweet because a lot of times tamarind just really changes the flavor of the food. But this definitely complements it. This is what we came for. I could stop right now and be happy. Super happy. I actually saw this on a David's Been Here video. Shout out to David. Um, and I thought, man, I've got to try Hariyali chicken. And I'm so glad we did. This is so good. I love tandoori chicken. Mm -hmm. It's like tandoori chicken to the max. Mmm. Mmm. That's like tandoori chicken on steroids. Yep. And then it went to jail and worked out every single day. It is that good. This is like the chicken of all chickens right here. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, the chicken itself is amazing. I mean, the seasoning. Good I could just eat the seasoning for days. But then to add it to the chicken, cook it in that tandoor, Ugh. coat it. So good. All right, so now we've had that. We're about to have something else that we've never had before and that's lamb tikka masala. So let us clean this up real quick and grab some plates and it is time to get on to more food. Okay, now we have enough food to feed an entire family. So we've got to step up our game and eat as much of this as we can. Some of this I've never heard of before, like lamb tikka masala, I've never. I've had chicken before, Yeah. <laughs> but lamb, I'm so excited. Me too. Lamb is like my favorite. Mine too. So this here is dal. And then chicken. Ch chicken madras. Madras. Another thing we have never had before. I am super, super excited. Let's get it. I'm gonna start. What? We've got some lemon rice here. And, and so this has nuts and little chunks mm -hmm. of all kinds of different stuff. I'm gonna try this. I don't know what to try it with. So I think I'm gonna go chicken madras. While you are doing that, I want to introduce this basil naan. I've never heard of basil naan ever. And I'm gonna try it by itself, and then I'm gonna try some chicken madras with you. All right, I'm gonna chop mine up a little, because it is too big of a bite. This is so dang good. Is it good? Yes, I'm in trouble. All right, I I'm like tasting it. I like it so much. Man, that's mm. amazing. Wow, All that right. has a lot of flavor. All right, let me get some chicken. There's some fresh garlic on top of here. We're grabbing some of that in too. So I don't know if this is a mistake here, to ch mix this chicken madras with this lemon rice or not, but I'm getting it because it looks really nice. Not a mistake at all. Mmm. <laughs> so creamy. Wow. So buttery. So wow. Is it coconut I'm tasting? Yeah. Like there's a, a little bit of coconut base in there. Okay. Coconut basil. Mmm. Holy. Chicken. Crap. <laughs> this is nuts. Okay, this I'm just gonna so eat the chicken good. with it. And I've been wow. practicing. I'm not even making any mess. <laughs> Five minutes later. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That is so good. Right. I was not expecting that. That gravy. I'm gonna try it. There's curry leaves. There's all kinds of stuff in there. And it just really, really is delicious. I gotta have some now with this naan. Yeah, we normally take a couple bites and try to move on to the next thing, but this is crazy good. Really delicious. So this rice, man, this mm. rice has fresh ginger in it and some curry leaves too. Mm. Okay. I have never good. had madras before. I am good. having it again. It is so good. An absolute winner mm. with this rice. I hope we're supposed to do this. I hope it's okay that we're doing it. We're not mixing naan and rice. Listen, <laughs> if you're not supposed to do that, I'm breaking the rules, because that was killer. It is so good. Okay, I love that, but we got to move on. No. I want to try this, <laughs> I want to try this chicken, 
or no, this is lamb tikka masala. I want to try this so bad. Whole cashews on top. Oh, it looks so luxurious and smooth. Super rich. Okay. It looks very, very rich. I've learned my lesson with the huge bites. I'm gonna tame it down just a little. Ooh. Mm, that is some good sauce. That tastes so smooth. Are you scooping? I am. Scoop. Oh, it smells amazing. It looks so good. Okay, I still ended up with a huge bite. I don't even know how that happened. This is super mm. sweet. That is so good. It is really good. Oh, that lamb is nice mm -hmm. and tender. I didn't even have to chew that much. When I swallowed, <laughs> I just thought it was part of the sauce. Like, what is that? Oh, that's a lamb. So when I'm an old man and I have no teeth left and all I have is gums, I can still I'll eat Indian eat food. Because you just, it's so tender and delicious. So the sauce is definitely a little bit sweeter than I expected it to be. Sweeter than we're used to, but I know each region kind of has its I own flavor. I love it though. I mean, like I, I, I really enjoy that. It just took a second to to understand exactly what I was tasting. What was happening in your mouth? Because I wasn't yeah. expecting at all that delicious sweetness, but it adds a layer of flavor to this that's just so good. Okay. I'm really in love with that, mm. that lemon mm. rice. Really? I didn't think you'd like it. I know, you put it, he put it over there because he thought I would just take a bite mm. and move on, but I love it. I'm gonna try it with this lamb tikka. This is so good. Mm. With Mix it. With what? With the lamb? I did. It's really mm. amazing. I am so happy with this meal so far. Good thing this is our last meal of the day because we mm. will I'm gonna waddle eat. out of here. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. <laughs> I know it's too early to start picking favorites, but out of these two, what did you like? I really liked this one so much, because even though it was still a little bit sweet, the lamb was just so amazing and the so chicken? tender. Yes, or the chicken, sorry. Here, the lamb with it being so tender, it's much sweeter. All and right. I prefer like savory, spicy over sweetness. So that's why, what about you? I think the chicken madras is my favorite too, but I expected it to be the lamb tikka masala. I thought that but was gonna be your the lamb is my favorite meat, but I love this gravy so much. Mm -hmm. I think that our taste buds are getting more and more away <laughs> from, well, just away from like the Americanized food mm -hmm. and more used to the flavors of India. And I think th those are now the things that I tasted and I go, Ooh, that like tastes that. authentic. Yes. I still don't know if I know the difference, but I feel like I'm starting to get there. We definitely and crave this it. This madras than, was so good. Yeah, we definitely crave it more than the regular, kind of the mm. basic American food, I would say. Yum. So the doll, it has mm. almost the consistency of mashed potato. I like it. It's got an earthiness, spice, a butteriness. Mm -hmm. This is really really good i like this one more than those three you like the doll the most mm -hmm. really yes i like it a lot it's really good i haven't tried it with naan yet i don't know if you're supposed to have it with naan you guys tell us in the comments are we eating this right we think we are i thought we were i think, we, <laughs> I think we're doing it pretty well but let us know is this typical to put doll on your naan or not let me try that though it's so good. It is so good. Just hands down, like, mm. if there was a restaurant that served one thing, <laughs> it could be this and they could get away with <laughs> it. It could still, still yes. do well? Yes. Okay, so run through the whole meal now. Favorite thing, cauliflower? Yeah, <laughs> Holly, cauliflower. Was it that your favorite? Yeah, I thought it was gonna be. I really cauliflower. did. Mm. It has so much intense flavor. I don't think I could eat it every day. Mm. I would eat it until I couldn't eat it anymore. And then I would swap over to this. <laughs> would you? Mm -hmm. I really want to try them together. What about you? My favorite is the Hariali chicken. I thought that was going to be my favorite. It is so good. Dipped in that mint chutney. Mm -hmm. It just took it to another level. You get that citrusy, 
minty, beautiful flavor. I just, Super I tender. loved it so much. Like, I could eat it again right now and yeah. not be disappointed at all. Like 10 minutes after we ate it, I could eat it again. That's when I know that something is really good when I'm already craving it and I just finished eating it, so. And it's mint chutney. When you, he first discovered mm -hmm. mint chutney, he just poured it on everything. I love it. And you guys were like, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> he loved it so much. So honestly, that's no surprise. To me, it's a surprise that I love the two veg dishes, but they're just, I, I mean, I'm not sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I think that this was really good, but I think the chicken madras and the harioli chicken and the cauliflower were kind of head and shoulders above the rest. I really enjoyed the naan as well. I've never mm -hmm. had it with those kind of basil pieces and basil seeds on it, but I think it added so much texture. Overall though, I am blown away by this place. Me too. I have absolutely loved this food. If you're ever in Miami, they've got two locations and it's worth a visit for sure. Incredible Indian flavors. Man, what a bring meal. Bring your family, bring your friend's family. Find a new friend to bring their family <laughs> and they'll all just love you forever. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed another episode here. If you are liking this, please make sure and subscribe. That's really important to us. Helps us so much. And make sure and hit that like button. Bye guys. <laughs>